So in this video, I'll show you how I built a full online store using just Divi. No hacks, no plugins and no fluff. I've been an Elementor fangirl for years. But when Divi 5 dropped, I had to give it a real shot. And no, this isn't sponsored. I paid for the lifetime plan myself because I genuinely wanted to see if Divi was finally worth taking seriously. Now look, Elementor is still great, especially if you're already in that ecosystem. But Divi 5 finally feels like a serious alternative. Chapter number one, installing Divi and getting set up. All right, now hop into your WordPress dashboard. Next, head into the theme section, click add new, upload the Divi zip file and activate it. Next, go to settings, then permalinks and switch it to post name. This keeps your URLs clean from the start. Chapter 2, designing the shop page hero section first. Let's design a clean shop page starting with a strong hero banner. Open up your shop page or create a new one and enable the Divi Builder. Start with a regular section and choose a one column row. Inside that column, drop in an image module Upload a banner or promo graphic, something high quality that fits your store's vibe. Center it under the design tab. Right below that are a text module. This is your headline, maybe something like your one-stop tech shop or whatever fits your brand. Pick a clean font like Montserrat. Bump up the size and weight. Center align the text and space it out so it feels strong. To finish off the section, head to the design settings and add some breathing room. It gives the whole thing a modern, open look. Chapter 3. Keep things fast with airlift. Before we move on to the shop layout, let's talk performance for a second. You don't want to build a beautiful store and then have it lag the moment someone tries to browse. Especially with all the images, filters and product modules you're about to add. Things can get heavy fast. That's why I always install Airlift. It's a free speed optimization plugin built specifically for WordPress and it works really well with Divi. No confusing setup, no performance tweaks to configure, just install, activate it and it quietly takes care of the heavy lifting. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check it out. Chapter 4 Product Grade with a Sidebar Filter Now let's add your actual products along with a sidebar filter so users can easily narrow things down. Drop in a regular section with a two-column layout. One on the left, use the narrower column for filters. And on the right, keep it white for the product grid. For the left column, we'll use WordPress's built-in widgets. First, go to Appearance and open widgets. Add product categories, price filters, or any attributes you want into the sidebar widget area. Back in Debbie, drop in a sidebar module in the left column and choose the sidebar widget area you just set up. You've now got a live working filter panel. Now for the right column, add a shop module. This automatically pulls in your WooCommerce products. Set how many products you want to display, how many columns, usually three or four works great, and enable sorting, pagination, or filters as needed. You can style both columns however you like. Maybe add a light border around the filter sidebar. Just enough to keep it clean without distracting from the products. Chapter 5 Call to Action section Alright, now let's drop in a quick call to action to push those conversions. Add a new regular section at the bottom of the page with a single column. First, insert a text module with a strong CTA, something like still thinking followed by a subheading like grab the latest tech at unbeatable prices. Style it with bold fonts, center it, and keep the tone sharp but friendly. Then drop in a button module, label it something like shop deals or explore products, and link it to your product category or feature page. Give it a background color that pops, round the corners a bit, and add a hover effect for that smooth interaction. Chapter number six, make sure it's all hooked up. Quick check, go to your WooCommerce settings, open the products tab and make sure your new shop page is set as the main shop page. Then open the Divi Builder's responsive preview mode and test your layout on tablet and mobile. Adjust spacing and stacking where needed. Divi gives you full control for each screen size. 
Chapter number 7 Custom Single Product Page in Divi. Let's now build a custom single product page. Head into the Divi theme builder and click add new template. When the pop-up appears, select all products under WooCommerce so this layout applies to every product. Click add custom body, then build custom body. Start with a two column section. On the left, add the Woo product images module. It will pull in the featured image and gallery. In the design tab, tweak the sizing and spacing so it fits nicely in the column. On the right, drop in the Woo title module, Woo price, Woo rating, Woo short description, add to cart and meta modules. That gives you a full product overview and you can style each one just like any Divi element. After that, add a new full width section with a single column and drop in the Woo tabs module. This automatically includes the full description, additional info and reviews, clean and organized. You can style the tab backgrounds and spacing however you like. Lastly, let's finish strong with a related product section. Drop in a Woo related products module, choose how many products to show and space everything out with some padding or margin. If you want, you can add a heading above it like you may also like. Then save the theme builder layout itself. Visit any product page now and you'll see your completely custom single product design live. And that's your full e-commerce site built entirely in Divi. From a custom hero section to a responsive shop layout, everything is done right inside the builder. No extra plugins, no bloat and no need to patch things together. Now to be fair, Divi isn't perfect. The builder can still feel a bit slow on larger pages and the WooCommerce modules are powerful but not limitless. But overall, Divi 5 feels like a big leap forward, not just a theme but a proper design system built for real businesses. If you want to try this exact setup, I've left the base templates down in the pinned comment so you can import and start customizing right away. If you found this helpful, give it a like and let me know in the comments if you want a follow-up video on designing custom cart and checkout pages. Alright, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.